What's going on YouTube? My name is Mim Boy. So today I just recently went to a flea market and I got these 11 phones. I paid 60,000 Vietnam dong for these 10 because they came from the same store. And then on the second store, I got this one for 10,000 Vietnam dong cheaper. So yeah, let's get started. So I have eight Nokia's, two Motorola, and one LG. Let's start with the oldest one of them. Oh, this is a Nokia. 2100 this is not locked to any carrier and I got this one one and I got this one this is the one of the earlier s30 device that, uh, according to I think Wikipedia and I was looking for 11 1100 but unfortunately none of them appears to be functional I got this um, I, I pulled one of the Moby card life card out of them So, yeah, I got this one. I don't have the original battery for this one, so I had to pull out this BLB2. None of these came with the batteries anyway, so. This work is a imported device from somewhere, somewhere in Arabian, but apparently this one is Vietnamese. It has all the Vietnamese. And like most Nokia's with this battery, they tend to be shut down, then they be automatically shut down when they try to turn on. I'm gonna listen to the Nokia tune. Mm, never mind. But the phone does work, so that at least that's fun. So I can probably do something, some video with it. I actually, uh, this is not the one. I actually saw another one of these, but it just show a white screen, and that's about it. I call the, the following Nokia don't use this battery. I I try a couple of Nokia with this battery, the seventy six, um, one of the first Nokia first slider phones, and I plug it in, and it just do nothing. I'm gonna put a photo of that to you guys, but. I got a couple of next phone for one and I'm really happy to about these because some of these are actually quite rare and expensive. This right here is a Nokia, I already put a SIM card in 6108, so it's in filthy condition and it appears to be important. So this one used BL5C battery. I don't have the back cover at all, and this whole this one I can't really demonstrate the touch screen. But from what I know, the phone does work. It the battery doesn't. There we go. Come on, try it. Does work. Oh, okay, you had to press hard to for the speaker to work. Let's try that again. I had to press quite hard for the speaker to work, so yeah, that's not a good sign. But who cares anyway? I had to press hard here. Yeah, apparently this one speaker is a bit busted, so you had to press hard to make it work. Other than that, nothing too special. I can't really demonstrate. I mean, these buttons don't really respond from what I know. And there we go, you just say, okay, so it does work somehow. W one unique feature of this one you guys, is that you can actually use this um, touch screen. You just um, touch, w these are actually touch pads that you use to um, use a stylus with, but I don't have it, so I can demonstrate it. So at least I got this one working. Yeah. And there is no Vietnamese option. Not many Vietnamese phones came with Vietnamese anyway. So we actually care about that. Next, I already have like a newer model of this one, but this is the original bottle I got. Thought. I actually kind of want this one in my collection. This is, oh, I have to take this out. This one actually came with a memory card too, which is, is interesting. 6230, and this is, um, at first I thought this was an international device. But it turns out that someone put it in, in English and did not translate to Vietnam. I have to put the SIM card. The SIM card tray is kind of 
loose. It does really seem, but it's really loose. Okay. Hmm. Should work. I need to press this up. It's a SIM card tray, this one, and the LCD polarizer is also broken, as you can see. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> no, I did not put that there. And this was originally in English, but I have to set it to in Vietnamese. I haven't done much about this one, but yeah. I'm really, I'm really happy to have this one for my collection, the 6230, because I already have two broken 6230i. And I'm probably gonna swap the LCD on one of the 6230i. That LCD is good, but the board is broken. That LCD is also have the same problem with this one, but the board is not. Not sure what happened, not sure why many of these 6230 have the same problem with the polarizer. So. Yeah, and this is a uh, one of the two CMA device I got today. Got recently, this is a Nokia 2865, and this is with a an already obscure Chinese carriers. And I got this EVN card. The S1 card is in this one for a reason we will soon disclose. Mm, let's see how you put this card in. It's kind of hard to do. Okay, there we go. So no back. No, no, no. Oh, these came with the back cover. So there we go. He knows it's not already. Probably. This is with China Unicom. So for, I'm guessing this is a stolen device. I thought it was stolen, but I th but I saw Vietnamese content, so I'm guessing that this device was actually used by a Vietnamese at some time. I saw a couple of Sony Ericsson, but they have broken trackpad. They turned on, but have broken trackpad, so not worth it. So it's actually for network. Mm. So yeah, I saw this model on Verizon, and I actually want that one instead of this one. Not much special, though. So yeah, the next one I already have this one, but this is but well, they but that store only sell sell sixty thousand Vietnam dong for each if you buy ten of them. So this is the other one that I got work. There were an N seventy nine and a couple of all the Nokia N series with crack screen, but I didn't get why because they are broken. So next one I already have this one. This is a Nokia seventy three seventy again, no back cover, but. It has the same card right? and it's a bit improvement on of mine. I already have this one. Funnily enough, it, it was in an office store where it stole the sold the phone, while this one came in a completely different direction. It's kind of bad a bit. It, but yeah, I got this one. This one worked, but it has um, it had a broken SIM tray and. The speaker doesn't work and the screen is a bit more damaged than this one. The screen is this one's also damaged but not as much. I'm not sure the SIM card works so oh this one had a bent pin so that SIM card is definitely not going to work. But who cares since it's S40 and S40 device tend to read SIM card well. Hmm. This one's kind of coming apart and this button's missing so I need to get a couple replacements soon. So yeah. Yeah, at least this one has a good good speaker, but it's in slightly poorer condition. So yeah, the LCD is a bit is better on this one. And apparently the previous owner is a big fan of Gucci and its brand, so it had all the Gucci stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy about this one. I need that battery for one more auto Nokia. But first, here is one of the Nokia. This one is on the back, which is sad. I, I think I lost the back on this one. Nokia E65. This is unlocked. And it has, and I have to, this bear is from another Nokia, old Nokia, the N79. I was looking for a working N79, but that N79 had a bad LCD. So I just bought this one instead. This one does work. 
I think it's I think it's one of the older E series phone I got. I'm not sure. There were two E65 and this is the one that worked. The other one only showed the backlight. Now so this is a since this is a S60 device, um it would boot a bit slower than usual. Like these are S40 and this is S early S30. I was hoping for. Um, I think we have a two. No bag, but the phone does work, so that's at least good. And yeah, and this one was used up to rather recent, so it had all the stuff. I actually been looking for. I saw the N80, but that thing doesn't work. Work. I saw E66, that thing doesn't work. E75, um, that thing also doesn't work. Not a lot of these S60 devices are prone to be broken. So, and the N95, as usual, is locked to is is um, passcode lock. And I saw a couple of knockout over S30 device that also has passcode lock. Who yeah, who who passcode lock a S30 device, a very basic device, such like this one, but it's a bit newer. Who who did that? <laughs> would do that <laughs> really? But yeah, I was happy to have this one, and everything works fine. It's both speaker works. Now the next one is a bit tricky to test because I don't have a really optional battery. These two Nokia, I don't have the battery that work with them. This is a Nokia 2720C, so this is a 2720 volt, and this is this look. This is actually the 61, basically the 6, 2700, the flip phone version of that. And I and this one used BL. I think I, I'm not sure what battery this one used. I think BL five C A or B or something like that. I think five C B. I think five C B was the slimmer version of this one. It was longer, but I don't have a battery for that, so I can't really test it. There were two in the flea market. This is the one that worked. The other one had a white white inner LCD. Speaker. This one's quiet. I don't I need to, to do it again because this one doesn't seem to be responsible it's not safe because I don't have a battery for this and I haven't really doing that much this mo I think this model came out in US as well they sold it under the T-Mobile brand and this is the one that un that was unlocked so yeah out of screen does work so that's as far as you can need to know Now I do not have the the battery for it. And apparently the keyboard doesn't light up, which is not a good sign for a flip phone like that. So okay, uh, let me flip this one down. Um, okay, so this screen work. Okay, Let's shut it down. Other than the fact that it was a flip phone version of the 62, the 27200 or 2730C, see, it was actually quite um, good and yeah, yeah. I actually saw a couple of the S40 flip phones there. There was, I think, a couple more. And this is the one that's, I think, I think this one and this one a dual for the rest phone I found in the flea market so far. Get um death strip. These two are mediocre finds. I have Nokia sixty three fifty one B. Now you may be special. This one is on AT and T, and I believe this is actually a stolen phone from someone who came to Vietnam because apparently it is not unlocked. Unlike other Nok, unlike many of the other phone, I have one more Nokia that is not unlocked. That was not unlocked from Optus. So, yeah. Now I'm really happy about this one because this one's on AT and T and it has not been unlocked. From what I know, both LCD work. Speaking, of this one's quiet. Really, really quiet. This one is 
despite being an S40 device, it came as late as I think. Okay, so yeah, I need to do that again because I don't have a battery for this one. This one uses a smaller battery, size so smaller battery. Hmm, yeah, uh, I'm going to do a, a server shutdown on this one. So AT&T, and yeah, I really have now because I have all the, I think I have all the major, um, American carriers. I got Verizon. I got um. Well, that thing was technically Sprint roaming. I mean, I got T-Mobile. I got AT and T. I think that was. I think. I'm not sure what was the other carrier. I'm not sure. Cricket, maybe a uh, Metro PCS. So these are those are minor carriers. Probably Virgin. I'm not sure if. So I basically got all all the major carriers phones from major carriers. I have one single. Yeah, speaker. This one is a uh, really quiet on this one. We are done with Nokia at last. Now let's move on to the two models I got from that flea market as well. Now these two are really similar to each other, but they have difference. Yeah, where they have difference, where they have difference between them. So, this is the, uh, let's start with this one. This one is a W, W375, and I will put the SIM card on it to test this. There's no back cover, but who cares, these models share most of the parts together, so, yeah. This one had a camera. These, these, this is not light. This is not the audio display. This is just a this uh, indicator. Some of the indicator when you plug in the charger or something like that. And this is a similar model, but it's on S phone. Model number W three fifty five. And this model basically strip out the camera, the use of the camera, and it's locked to S phone. So yeah. So so this phone you share the same battery, so I have one of these battery right here. BT fifty came from one out of the HD mobile phone I got. Haven't really test charging them, so let's start turning on with the GSM one. This is the so at first I thought I saw this one and thought it, this was going to be a track phone um track phone branded one, but nope. It is unlocked to all carriers. Even have Vietnamese, which is which I'm happy about because apparently Vietnamese is my native language. Hello, Moto. I think there were two phones that had Hello, Moto. And this is one of them. One phone I got. Yeah, for some reason the star sound is a bit delayed than usual. This light doesn't really seem to light up at first, but searching for network now. Um, none of my SIM card have cell service, so I reckon it's the same. So I also pull one of these battery out, so I might have to charge that battery. Um, that battery is dead, so. Let's turn this S4 model on. The S4 has a back cover. The main difference between this and the S4 model is that there's no camera and this is locked to a specific um, CMA network. I am. Um, this one actually came with a Beeline card, which I tried to put it on my Huawei Missway, but unfortunately, that thing is not going to work. It as well corrects him. So. <laughs> Pretty much they work like tra how track phone works in the US, so really, f really sad, but who cares anyway. This is also a light indicator, there's no camera on this one, so it's a shame. Okay, got it, S phone. Now, we are almost done. We all have one phone left for, you, for this video. And I thought 
that phone on a different shop. This is an LG, very old one of these LG. I saw like two LG, but I decided to pass on the later one because I kind of ran out of money and I just got this one because it doesn't have the keyboard and stuff. LG KG195. So I initially just saw the commercial of it and it was fairly, fairly popular and and this and along with the KP um, one um, KP P175. I'm not sure what KG mean in LG phone, but reset story start shot. This was one of the few times that LG worked with MediaTek to produce phone, so the board is going to be very boring. Oh yeah, this this one doesn't say not not all not not all the key doesn't really work all the time. So yeah. We all know this work, but the LCD, this one is busted. It's not crack, just something else that I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Look. Hmm, low battery, shut down. <laughs> really weird, but who cares because this is just a MediaTek ODM. <laughs> I mean, this battery is really weak, really weak for its time. So, not sure why LG decided to produce a MTKV branded funds. But I might have to, if I have to time to return, I might have to buy a different LG. That LG may have a different um, ODM board. At least this one take a mini USB to charge, which explain anything why the MediaTek stuff are in there. It's not taking the official LG charger; just take the, that type of charger. So. Basically, dumb phone doing dumb phone stuff, but I'm really I'm really sad that this is an MTK is what the board was MTK is not other not like OD LG ODM. So um, pretty much I got all the phones. I'm really happy with all of them. They all have minor to minor problems, but they turn on fine, and I'm really happy to have this have all this in my collection. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!